Hello there guys and welcome to this week's Caddy Craft. We're going to be making woven Christmas stars. So for this project we're going to need 5 popsicle or lolly sticks. You're also going to need a ball of coloured wool or yarn and a roll of masking tape and that's it. First up arrange your lolly sticks into a star shape. Once you've done that, stick the corners together using masking tape. It's worth spending a bit of time sticking these down nice and firmly. Once you've got the shape, you may find that you need to turn the corners a little bit so that all the lolly sticks fit together. Once you've done that, use further masking tape to join the middles of the stars. This way your wooden frame will hold together nice and firmly as you wrap in the wool. Next up, take the end of your wool and wrap the wool around the point of one of the stars, tying it off. Then begin wrapping the wool around the point of the star, working your way towards the tip. Now wrap the wool under the point starting at the tip to cover that wooden point of the tip. Once you've done that, just wrap your way back down to the centre of the star, covering up those vertical pieces. You may find you need to add more masking tape to hold the corners in place. Once you've done that, move on to the next point and then wrap it just like you did the first one. The whole process takes around about 15 to 20 minutes depending on your speed and how many times you've done it before. Then once you've done all the points, it's time to the centre. For this, Start wrapping the wool around the corners at the middle of the star, wrap them across, turning the star one point at a time and continue to wrap until you've covered up all those pieces of wood of the frame. This part of the process takes around about 5 minutes. Once you've finished wrapping, it's time to cut the wool leaving about 15 to 20 centimetres for us to make our loop for attaching to your tree or wherever you're going to hang them off. Wrap it around the point, fold the wool tightly and not stop. Once you've done that, make a loop in the end of your wool and knot it off using double granny knots where I found a reef knot works particularly well. And there you have it, one completed woven star. Thanks very much for checking out the, instru the instructions guys, hope you find this instructful and useful. Using Sparkly Wool gives you a fantastic finished product and as always if you enjoyed the video then do like it, subscribe to the channel for more of the same and post comments below with ideas you've made yourselves. Thanks very much for watching.